Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. On the last video we just finished our night stage with a nice S rank to boot and saved Professor Pickle finding out we have to try and repair the earth by going to all of the Gaia temples and restoring the energy to the Chaos Emeralds. Should be a simple enough task. But for now let's leave Spagonia and go on to the first sighting of the world map as we're about to get the longest tutorial from Tails ever. Which is a tutorial that doesn't even need to exist. I mean, it's a world map. It can't be that hard to figure out. You could give us, like, a controller layout on the very beginning, and that would probably be enough. But of course, Sega insists on holding your hand through every goddamn thing just in case you are a complete brainless retard. Having said that, though, I do find that one of the ideas of the uh, world map is actually rather interesting. In this, Tails pretty much explains to you that you can press a button and control the sun at your own will, changing it from day to night at any time. This is crazy. Could you imagine a sun just flying past your window? That would be insane. Ah, good morning. I mean night. I mean morning. I mean night. I mean morning. Oh my god, what's going on? And the last thing that makes me believe this is actually really pointless is the fact that when you go into an area you've selected, you can still change from day and night just by pressing start and choosing it in the menu. It even gives you a little icon that's used for it later on in the game, so I suppose it's mainly just for convenience, but I just don't see why it's implemented everywhere. But anyway, enough of my bitching, time for another cutscene. skydiving adventure the other day. I should have known you'd still be alive, you stubborn little hedgehog. What are you doing out here? I see no reason to tell you. In any case, I'm busy. Farewell! Uh, hey, wait! That's playing dirty! Come back! Just ignore him. Is everyone here all right? Yes. Wait a minute, was it me or did I hear Tails in that group? I'm sure I can. Hmm, must be me though. Anyway, here we are again, except this time we're normal hedgehog and not werehog, and the first thing on our agenda is to run past all these people to get a night medal. And now we're finally going to do the day stage of the Savannah Citadel. One of my favourite daytime stages in the game, actually. And again, a pretty simple one to go to, uh, providing you kill some robots and not go over here and try to jump up with a move that you haven't even got yet. Well done me. Alright, time to go into Savannah Citadel. Now one small thing I want to point out is that right now I have 11 lives. And as you see right here, I have 12 lives. That's because on my previous attempt to record this level, I severely messed up and I didn't like the way it came out. So I just flat out re-recorded it. So you're going to see a few missing medals, but I generally go in the same direction I went in the first take, and I can still pick them up and show you where they are. It's just that it won't register in the bottom right. I don't doubt for a moment though that I'm gonna have to do this again just in case I severely mess up, cause in general, I don't want to do that badly. I mean, I am good at the game, I swear here. Now in this level is the start of when the game starts to get a little bit odd in the daytime stages. Don't get me wrong, the daytime stages are very action packed, but, okay, 
But how much of that action are you actually playing? It may seem like you're having a fun time doing all these flips and moves, but are you really playing? Apart from maybe being able to press the boost button, I've actually found that in the daytime stages there are many, many sections where stuff is happening. You are doing a lot, but you're not pressing a thing. You're not even pressing the go right button anymore. And I'm going to try and keep track of every time the game does this and see how many times it's fooled us into believing we're actually playing the game when instead we're watching it. Now coming up ahead are two good examples of what I mean. This bit with the springs, very short it might be, there's a lot happening but I'm not controlling a damn thing until just now. And this is an even worse case of it. And now I have an effect. Oh and don't you worry, that counter will be going up way higher in the future. I remember in my first playthrough of the game I counted a level that did this five times. Of course there may be times when you think I've missed parts or added ones that shouldn't have been added, but I'm talking about ones I have literally no control over. Like for example what I just did then, I do kind of have an influence on it because if I press the boost button I get to skip having to do a tedious little jump down at the bottom and instead I just boost away. So I am going to be very picky about it, I'm literally only going to count moments where pressing buttons does absolutely nothing. But if you like pressing buttons, here we go! See? Convenient. Now all we have to do is do this little obstacle course to get to our goal ring up at the top. And I must say, I don't mind this little obstacle course section, it is quite fun. Even though it's slightly annoying that when you fall off you have to do it again. Yeah, but that's mainly because it's a loop. And uh, obviously when you fall off you're falling to a earlier part of the map. So make sure you don't do it. Well that happens. Joy! So yeah, don't fall off because it's annoying and uh... Wait, I hit that! Come on game! Stop being a bitch! Seriously, I thought I hit that! That was clearly... Oh, whatever. There is also a sneaky bit which I happen to uh, dodge and I'm making sure I get up this time. Uh, just at the end of this platform... Or was it this one? No, it was this one. If you're boosting, you actually trip up just there and run into an enemy. It's a big fuck you moment in that level actually, and it's really annoying. It's actually the reason that I stopped playing this level, because I did pretty badly up to that point, and then I just did that, and I was like, I need to re-record. <laughs> fuck that. Just a few more swings and a jump away from our destination, the goal ring. Gotta press a few more buttons though. Uh, if you do miss this, you go the long way, but otherwise you just use the shortcut. Awesome, we have passed the level and got a B! Not bad. And as we're about to see here in a previous attempt altogether we now have five night medals and one sun medal. Now shall we have speed or ring energy? I think I'll go for ring energy this time, it's always a bit handy. And just chuck the rest in speed. Time for some more cutscenes! And with that, I'll see you on the next Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. Bye.